stitches and sundries. This is a floss tube. Uh, we are a podcast dedicated to cross stitch and stitchy stuff and fun stuff. I'm Lauren. Is, is this episode 20? Yeah. This is episode 20. 20. Yeah. Holy cow. Sorry. Yeah, you're fine. I'm Devin. Uh, you can find me at Lauren Up Stitching on Instagram. You can find me as Devin underscore as no loose ends on Instagram. Yes, we did it. Oh. Yeah, it's episode 20. Episode we 20. are. We're almost on a year. We're almost on a year, and we're so close to 50 subscribers. Yeah, I think we have 48. I think we're 48. So oh, close. So if you're watching this, please like and subscribe. And, and all that good stuff. Yeah. Uh, or just send a friend to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Take it. Uh, I think Share us with friends. And, I think we're going to try and do a giveaway at 50. Uh, so maybe we'll get that together and start showing it off and being like, if yeah. you get to 50, you get this. Yeah, yeah, and I think uh, what we could do is we could do, like, a yarny thing or a cross-stitch thing. We'll have the person, like, yeah. specify which one they'd be interested in. Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. That'd be great. So, with you. I have some finishes, but uh, I've been a mad woman this past couple weeks. You have been insane. I've been uh, watching your Instagram, <laughs> and I'm also in that 21... Halloween cross stitch Facebook group and it's just like Lauren post 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 I, bam. I was trying not to overwhelm the Facebook group. I was like, I'll leave a couple days between these questions and junk I've got going on. Uh, she's just like posting like a mad woman of all the yeah. progress she's been making. I am making progress. Uh, mostly because we had Memorial Day weekend here and at our house and it wasn't as crazy as I thought it was going to be. Like, I expected crazy amount of prep leading up to and then crazy amount of, like, clean up after. Mm -hmm. And it was really mild. It was, the weather was kind of shitty, so everybody stayed inside. Oh. And we just had potluck, and it was great. It was pretty, That's nice. pretty easy and, like, no muss, no fuss. So, yeah. Uh, so then I had more time, and I just, like, but I don't have any, um, I don't have a ton of updates or, like, new starts because i just finished up. i was just like I'm plowing through we're getting it done and well uh, and i think it's time for that both yeah. of us have had some projects who that have gone on like too long or not maybe not too long but just like yeah. it's time for something new so next episode guys you will see new fun stuff new fun stuff I, I have finishes too i have two of them one of which was a new start for this episode but i went ahead and finished it yeah, so. just plow, like i said just plowing <laughs> through um, I don't have as much updates. I have like a fuzz or something on my nose. I don't have as much updates as you. I went camping Memorial Weekend mm. and um, it was rainy and cold, yeah. but my family, we're kind of hardcore. We wake up hardcore-ish. I mean, like, okay, so we're like glampers. I mean, we have we'll all do it in the, the rain and the snow. <laughs> yes, we will do it in the rain. We haven't camped in the snow, but we will do it in the rain and the cold and it's fine. Like, we have all the supplies to stay dry, except for Saturday was 42. Yeah, it was cold. It was really cold on Saturday. And because it had rained so much, we human beings would have been fine. But we had four furry friends, and the dogs got so wet, and we couldn't get them to warm up. So we Aww. had to take, we had to pack it in Saturday night. Because poor, like, Jennifer's smart. She will sit near the fire and she'll dry off and she'll get warm and she'll stay. Casper and Radar are like, let me go lay in the wet grass like 15 feet and I'm going to curl up into a ball and just shiver. And I'm like, get over by the fire and dry off. And he's like, no, let me go over here. Let me lay in the wet. So we just decided to take the dogs home on Saturday um, because it was so frigid and cold. And then Sunday was perfect. Sunday was great. Yeah. And Monday was awesome, too. Monday was Monday the best was day. Gorgeous. I got a sunburn Monday. It was like 80 degrees. So Saturday, 42. Sunday, 80. Just our luck. But yeah. camping was a lot of fun. I found some... We went on an adventure in the forest, and I found some weird forest old vi um, vintage bottles. I have oh, a yeah, five-gallon cool. bucket, guys, of, like, apothecary-style bottles Ooh. that I just found in the woods. Is going to give some to Lauren? I might share one or two. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Let's see what I have. Um, but I also found two really big, like the gallon whiskey jugs. And oh, my dad cool. knows the history of the area we were staying in. Because we were staying on private property, not in a public park. So um, the land we were staying on actually used to have several houses. And one of the places we were looking, that you can still see the foundation of the house. And there's an old bathtub. 
and that's fun yeah it was just like all this old shit and so we were just kind of like i don't know just messing around in it looking for treasures yeah, and treasure um my dad got a metal detector and he was all excited to get oh, that yeah. out so we were just hunting around and we found all like we got a haul of bottles out and two things i got were full unbroken whiskey jugs and my dad was saying like how that area is actually um uh shoot moonshining territory oh, so like old moonshiners back there that's cool and where we found it was near the spring which oh, they would yeah, have been, they set up. been yeah totally. and um we actually found a lot of the bottles in the spring and we're digging them out and one of them was a full-on terrarium like it had a whole habitat inside of it <laughs> which i'm a horrible person and i may have murdered to get the bottle I was contemplating of how to try to keep it alive, and I'm like, there's no way. There's no way. There's yeah. no way. That's fine. They'll they'll move back into something else. Yeah. So we, They're in their habitat. So. Yeah. We we left them in the spring, but we took the bottles, and I um, have a whole bunch of shit to clean up. <laughs> one of the bottles I found was a uh, brown whiskey jug, which I like those more than the white ones, but it's broken. But the way it's broke is really freaking cool. So, like, you know, like, the whiskey, the traditional, like, jug thing. You'll have to post some pictures on Instagram. The something. whole middle is busted out. Oh. So, I can, like, put something in there. That's cool. The whole middle. And Anymore. The... We went to, um. I'm going to sand it so it's not sharp. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anymore, I look for stuff that just looks cool. Yeah. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not like, oh, I need this because it's super practical. I mean, that just looks cool. Yeah. I can do something with that. Let's craft with that. Yeah. <laughs> I just look for trash and stuff. Yeah, so now I have a collection of bottles to sort through and clean. But that that was why I don't have as much updated as Lauren will have. Lauren's got I, a I stash didn't. to show you guys. <laughs> All right, so want to get into it? Yeah. You got two finishes? I got two finishes? Yeah. Woo. Oh, you only have two? I thought you had like four. No, I have, two, I have two finishes. Okay. So it's not too bad. It's not crazy. But I did get I did get a lot done. Uh, I, have, I have also some finishes on the crochet. Side, oh, so. that's why. Okay. Um. So... This is my favorite one. Uh, this is Beggar's Luck by Threadwork Primitives. And it's done. Look at that thing. It looks beautiful. Look at that. It's so pretty. And my little spring crow. I have to say, your Instagram picture of that I know, was amazing. I worked really hard on that. I like made Sarah run around. We lit incense for a picture. It was great. But it was super fun to do. Um, but uh, So I made some modifications on this. So originally, um, the pattern has MAR down here for March and 17 for, this would be a St. Patrick's Day theme thing. I didn't, we don't do anything for St. Patrick's Day. So I updated this with an L for my initial and the year I stitched it. And it is going to go on my spring wall. Absolutely. It is so cute. I um, love it. I love crows and uh, we have crows that take up residence in our yard every year. <laughs> Sarah's been feeding them dog food this year. Uh, trying to get them to like be more interactive, and uh, I know who beats in the crows. There it is. But um, I wanted. Uh, I'll send the ones that are bugging my owl to your house. Yeah. Uh, I wanted crows that would not just be fall or Halloween themed, and this one fit perfectly. And I'm super excited. I love it. So it this looks... is my fifth finish for the twenty one, twenty one. Halloween finishes in 2021. It had a crow on it, so it counts. <laughs> and I'm super pleased. I'm going to get that. I have a cool frame that I found at a thrift store in Morgantown. Mm -hmm. It's like wooden, but then it looks like it was broken. So it looks like really rustic Ooh. and stuff. So it looks like it was carved, but it's really old and pieces of that carving is broken away and stuff. It's really cool looking. So That's um, awesome. Yeah, I'm pleased with it. So I'm going to get that framed up. And then it'll probably, like, live down here for a little while because I'm kind of in love with it. So I want to see it Well, all the time. and right now it's summer, so yeah. there's no spring wall there's to put it on. spring wall to put it on. So I think this should be, like, your holding wall for all, like, for you should all just my do, like, projects. seasons around this room. Yes. yes. That'd be fun. I'm, I'm just excited to have more of my stuff on the walls. Like, yeah. I'm excited to get some stuff completely finished and out. I am excited. Your summer wall right now, you'll have to post a picture. It looks oh, yeah. so great. It does. It's yeah. so tealy. I love it. So I have two finishes. I will show this one first because you guys have seen this one. Four. This is Wreath Cross Stitch by the Perfect Decor Store. Mm. And I showed this last time. Oh, it's a cute finish. 
And this is, of course, a wedding finish. What? So I'm probably going to frame this in embroidery hoops. I might do it in picture frames. Not too sure. I have a collection from the thrift store because that's what I do. And I might go through that and see what works out. But um, I loved stitching this. It went really quickly. Um, yeah. It is. And you did your own like color choices, right? I did my own colors because I didn't have a single one of the ones that it called for. I think this is an older pattern, so I think a lot of the numbers were, like, Ooh. weird ones that are harder to find, you yeah. know? Because I ran into that with Life is a Game. I had a few that I had to substitute because it's like, yeah. you just, nobody carries that version yeah. of the DMC anymore. Yeah, they're, like, discontinued or whatever. Yeah. So, I did a whole color conversion, but I stayed pretty true to the chart. Like, I didn't, yeah. like, everything that's pink is supposed to be pink. It's just maybe mine's a slight different shade. Yeah, that's so um, cute. Yeah, and I actually messed up, so I think um, you can barely tell, but I think this whole arch is just slightly lower than it's supposed to be, nah, but you, you can't, can't tell. You can't tell. You can't tell a little. I think it's one row off. Nah. So, yeah, because, like, something happened here. I think in the picture, these are further apart. Like, mm. the, these two flowers here are just a little further apart in the picture, but it it worked fine. I love how we're both, like, no one would ever know. But let me tell you all about how. No one would ever know. <laughs> yeah. We have to point out our flaws. So, well, I good. think it's nice to point it out because it's like, um, you can kind of, like, let people know that, you know, some mistakes are workable. Yeah. And you don't have to rip out exactly. your whole work. Because when I first started cross-stitch, I'm like... Well, I mean, I made a lot of mistakes that were dumb, like not tying in my ends or like, I don't know, skipping, skipping holes and stuff. But anyway, like some of the mistakes you make, if you're off by a little bit, yeah, like sometimes it can be fudged around if you don't want to rip everything back. And that's what I did here. Yeah. And Very in like everything I've ever stitched. So you're going to do a couple of those for tables? Yeah. So I'm thinking I'm going to do a couple of these for tables and then a few other patterns. I talked about a few in our last episode. And I started a new one that I'll show you later um, that is going to go with these two. So I have probably like four or five different designs that I'm going to put across 21 to 22 tables in my reception. They're all probably going to be framed in embroidery frames, I like maybe that. picture frames if I find enough or they look cool enough. I don't know. I like the embroidery is easy. On the little, the little, the little sand, guy, the little light sand. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be really cute. Yeah. Adorable. Yeah. Alrighty. Another finish. Woohoo! Oh, I really finish. like this one. So this one's done. Do, 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 do. do I want to get out my thing? No. <laughs> I'm not getting it out. I'm being a bad podcaster. So this. Dun, da, da, bum, bum, bum. I think the fabric oh. looks pink today. Last it time does it looked pink today. I thought it looked almost transparent. Yeah. Um, so this is Maryland Blackwork by the Sassy Stitch Boutique. And uh, it's just really cute. It's just it a little is really long. nice. Uh, I finished up all the lace work in here. Uh, I had to ch substitute this color because my um, fabric was too light for the white. The white, it's supposed to be white. I substituted it for the slate gray color. And it looks great. Uh, I'm going to frame it in a white frame. And it is going to go out and about pretty regularly hmm. because we're a pretty proud, dorky Maryland. Uh, actually, hang on. Let me show you my thing. Reach. You are I can't a dork. reach. Yeah. So this is my uh, this is my tablet, and I have my Maryland cat and the Snallygaster, <laughs> which is a Maryland cryptid because we're giant dorks in this household. Uh, so I have a Maryland themed uh, notebook tablet uh, so <laughs> it's everywhere but I'll, I'm really pleased with this it was a super great um, stitch because um, the lace pattern repeats but it's not overly repetitive where you're just bored because you just keep stitching hexagons mm -hmm. for a million years um, but it was nice because I had made some mistakes in my Maryland shape so I had to wing it in some places and because the pattern was easy to figure out I was able to fill those spaces and that's make it awesome weird. yeah see mistakes are workable sometimes super workable and so I'm really pleased with that that's gonna get 
fully finished up on the wall. And everybody will know. I think I'm we a, should do like a... I'm not only a Marylander, I'm a stitchy Marylander. So, <laughs> I think we should do like a, a bonus reel of our fully finished objects that we oh, yeah. kept. That would, be yeah. that would be nice if we kept some of them. Because I feel like a lot of times we show our finish mm -hmm. and then we don't show it like all nice and neat. Yeah, framed. all in frame, yeah. 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 Unless we framed it up for a friend and yeah. we had, we're like, this is what it looked like. Yeah. 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 So anyway, we should totally like try to figure that out someday. Yeah, someday. Someday. So uh, next finish, another wedding thing. This is Love and Hearts Cross Stitch by, good God, I can't read my reading. Cross Stitching for Fun on Etsy. Both of the patterns that I've talked about are Etsy shops. This is super, oh, oh gosh, let me drop oh, it. Oh, super cute. So cute. So it's just like little hearts and it says love in the middle. And I really, really like this pattern. So last episode, I did tell you guys I got specialty threads and then I didn't bring them with me. So the thread I used in this one I is the Gentle Art oh. and Bubblegum was the color. Ooh. And it's this very pretty variegated. Yeah, the variegation in this is gorgeous. Yeah. Like, it, I love this to kind of fade into the words. Yeah, and I, I did work a little to make sure that it like didn't get too dark in certain spots. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't always easy to do that. There would have been a lot of thread waste. And so I kind of just also winged it. Also, I think um, when you work with variegated thread, there's like the whole like you're not supposed to do the fold in half thing. Yeah. Yeah, I folded in half. Eh. I was too lazy. But that, that, so the fold in half makes your, your fade more like gentle. Mm -hmm. So that, that worked for this. That's worked for what you wanted. Yeah. So that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Though. It came out really nice. I'm yeah. really happy with this one. Um, this one was such a quick and easy stitch. I will probably be making several, several of these yeah. in order to accomplish the 20 some tables yeah. that I need it for. And then it'll just be like a few of this design and one or two others. Yeah. So it's coming along. It's coming along. I have two finishes for the wedding. What, what? Who am I? Cross stitch finishes. <laughs> Two in one episode? Has that ever happened for me? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe ornaments. Maybe we're gonna get ornaments. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. need ornaments. And these are just like plus sized ornaments. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I slept funny and my one shoulder's just killing me today. Yeah, I broke myself. You broke yourself. Through sleep because I'm old. <laughs> you got more injured while sleeping than I did while camping. Yes. Oh, so I, I didn't finish my camping story. What you got? So one of the reasons that I don't have a lot of work done for either of our episodes is when we went camping, I, um, because it was raining, I was like all obsessed with this new technique that I learned, but it's not new to the world of how to hang tarps so that I made like nice little cool lean tos for us to all hang out under. Ooh. And my dad has this massive 10 by 14 tarp. So it was perfect for that. And we all stayed dry that way, but I, it was raining. And I was using um, nylon, um, oh, yeah. what is that called? Oh, guide wire cord, paracord. paracord. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, and I was hanging it. Jason was cooking. And I'm like, I got this like little rope tied around a rock. And I'm like doing this maneuver and throwing it over a tree. Yeah, I did that. Look at you. <laughs> Being a wild woman. But in doing so, I murdered my hands. Like, you guys, I don't even know if you can see, like, the damage on this finger. I don't know if it's going to pick up with our faces. But, like, I ripped off all the skin. And oh, this uh, is, like, it looks all... horrible. You guys can't see it. It looks horrible. It's all, like, waxy and hard and it doesn't feel right. I don't know. I think I murdered my finger. Um, and I'm not wearing my wedding no, like... ring. <laughs> but, yeah, I, like... It, so I got really, really severe rope burn Ooh. from pulling on the paracord to get everything tied tight enough. Um, so you broke your hands. You're like, oh my, yeah, yeah. For like, I'm, I'm serious. While we were camping, there was, I think it was Saturday when we were trying to like suffer through the cold. I'm sitting there like this. My hands just hurt so bad. Oh. And I was putting them like it was so cold outside, but the only thing that felt good was soaking them in cold water. 
And so I was holding them in cold water. Oh my god, and like trying to stand by the fire and yeah. not freeze to death. <laughs> oh my it god. It was pretty bad. I did find, I have um some like Aveeno soothing with aloe lotion. And that worked amazing to take the pain away. You also, aren't you the one that also like nearly chopped your finger yeah, off? Yeah, like, <laughs> stop going camping, you terrified me. I have a scar on this finger. If you can see that lumpy gross scar there. <laughs> Nobody wants to see your lumpy it's gross not, scars. It's not like a wound, okay? <laughs> so listen, I was trying to make my own kindling um, based on, I think it's Joe Robinette is uh, a bushcraft YouTuber. You take an axe and a knife, and this is where it ends poorly for me. <laughs> you take an axe and a knife and not have a scar. <laughs> well, and you take a piece of split wood, and you're just kind of taking the knife and going through the wood, like like down the wood, yeah. the length of the wood, to make your own kindling. And my knife kicked back, and it got my finger. <laughs> I have hand wounds from camping. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is me. This is the life we live. Uh, I just sleep funny and she tries to tear her hands off. Apparently. I have an update. I have a whip update. I have one whip update. Alright. And then I have acquisitions. I also have some acquisitions. Or I have a acquisition. Because um, my whip update is going to... So I have, doo -doo -doo -doo. I love this one. So this is my favorite season by Allison Embroidery, and I made some progress. Made lifts. Made some lifts. Uh, so this one I stayed up way too late working on one night because I was like, I'm gonna get it done, and you're not gonna get it done because I'm not the, get it, done. it takes forever. But I did get the leaf done that I was like working on. So this is, doo -doo -doo -doo, and. I have gotten, I feel like we're so far back now. I used to be like, I could put this thing here. I got this whole leaf here done. I got all this through here. So this whole section is complete. This whole like quarter of the wreath is done. I've made both the, I've made the full wreath. So this, this doesn't done. come out any further. No, it doesn't come out any further. So I'm going to continue <sighs> around. According to my uh pattern keeper i'm about 60 percent done the pattern oh my gosh so it's not it's not too bad I'm, I'm really making progress uh this is for a friend uh in texas that i am super excited to send her a gift a surprise gift mm -hmm. um but i also just posted it on the 21 halloween board because somebody said fall counts and i was like <laughs> Yay, this will motivate me to get this done, and I'll get points for it. So. Yay! So, yeah. So, I'm excited about that. And it is a, it is fun to stitch, but um, if anybody was interested in this, and actually I met somebody that's doing it, so I want to ask them. I've had to do a lot of color replacement. Part of that is probably my color blindness. Like, I'm just not seeing the differences. But part of it is... Um, I think it looked better in the design software than it does stitched. Oh. So, like, um, this leaf here. Oh, yeah, I remember. This leaf here. The is stitched in 730, and the veining is 731. Like, one shade darker. And it is too close. It is way too close. No, I don't think it's your eyes. Because I remember we looked at it for the yellow was a problem. Yeah, the yellow is the... And the... And the orange. The oranges are real. Like, this is... There's veining in there, but you can barely see no. it. No. It's not um, your eyes because I don't see it either. I think it needs to be more contrast. Yeah, there needs to be more contrast. So, um, this leaf was I also replaced. It was supposed to be the same. And I lightened... The color of the leaf itself to try and just up the contrast because I had already stitched all the veining. Um, and so there's just not enough contrast between the veins and the leaves themselves. So I am having to color replace mm -hmm. pretty consistently through all the, the choices. That is interesting. Do you yeah. think your fabric would have made any difference, like having it on white? Um, maybe a little bit, but the fact that most of the veins are surrounded entirely by their color. Probably, Probably not, not, I don't think. Yeah. Um, maybe it would have made, the thing I think actually might have made a difference is if I did it on a larger count of fabric so the X's were bigger and maybe you could see them oh, more. Oh, maybe. But 
even then, maybe not. I don't know. Yeah. But so I'm making those adjustments and I'm really happy with the result. But just so you know, um, I think it needs to be, uh, you're going to have to edit it a little bit to yeah. get that to come out right. It looks great though. It does. I'm really excited about it. So, do, 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 making progress. Like I said, 60% according to Pattern Keeper. It never mm -hmm. lies to me, right? It so. never lies. <laughs> okay, so I have one whip. Um, you guys might be familiar with this pattern now. So this <laughs> is Love and Hearts Cross Stitch. That I just showed you the pink finish of. Yeah, I'm loving that. So this Blue. is like the slate gray Ada that I showed. And then I bought, this is Weeks Dye Works in the color Snowflake, which is a white and just barely pink. I mean, I don't know if you can even see it on camera. I can see it, but I don't know if camera's picking it up. Like just a smidge of pink in places. And it looks very wedding-y to me. So. Oh, very much so. I really Especially like Especially on this like antique gray. Like, yeah. It's really pretty. I did, um, so I played like fabric chicken. Is that a thing in cross stitch? I know there's thread <laughs> chicken and yarn chicken, but I am. <laughs> You're like, I'm getting one out of this little piece of fabric. <laughs> I've done that shit. So when I go to frame this in an embroidery hoop, I'm probably going to need my master framer to help me like. <laughs> Because I, I, right now I think this is a six inch hoop mm -hmm. and I believe it can be framed in a five inch because I think okay, there's so more. you could get a little more space. Yeah. So a five inch would give us enough to. To tug on. To tug it. So. Yeah. But yeah, it is, it is going to be rough and I think I'm going to have Sarah do her little. Yeah. She better, she got to get those edges. You got to save every inch of fabric you can get out of it. Yeah. Because I uh, played fabric chicken. I, I actually, in my new start, I think I did the same thing. Yeah, this, um, I went to the Four Seasons Stitchery, which is our local mm -hmm. um, cross-stitch store, quilting cross-stitch, and I just was like, mm, I need some pretty threads, so I bought three, yeah. which I will show you later when we're on acquisitions, one more. That's so pretty. It I is. like that combination with that fabric. I really like it. I think it came out great, and I am going to, since I'm going to do so many of these on white, though, I'm going to need to buy, like... A big sheet of white I think yeah 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 because the little things that I'm getting from the like little rolls there's not enough fabric yeah, in them to get to and so I have I have all these strips of like awkward cuts that's like this long rectangle that's only this high and I'm like if I just bought a bigger sheet I could get multiple cuts out of it definitely definitely so I don't know where I do that at but maybe I think for season I had it in the folded bags oh, okay. versus in the like tubes well um, that's where I got the the blue. Yeah. I got the blue from there. But yeah, I'm gonna need to. And to... I mean I hate to recommend them, but Hobby Lobby does have like the 60 inch giant oh. ones. Um I'll check four seasons. D so that's all I've got. My wedding updates are done. <laughs> I have one new new start. Uh it's one I talked about last time. Uh this is oh, I'm gonna make some crinkles. Oh no, crinkles! All the crinkles learn. This is Spell of the Moon by Blackbird Design. I love and this little And it's a cute stitch. little dude. He's so cute. I need that when you're done. And I, it is, it is originally called for uh, Weeks Dye Works, um, but actually, it's it's called for a combination of things: classic colorworks, gentle arts, and Weeks Dye Works. And I wanted to start it, and I didn't get up to go to the store. Um, so I started it, but I am probably actually going to go get the the pretty overdyed floss for the moon because the moon is such a big feature feature, and I want it to have that glowy change in it. Um, but I also am kind of playing uh, fabric chicken, not near as much as me, <laughs> because I just was like, I like this fabric. It looks like the right size. Let's just start stitching and see how, how close to the edge we get. I'm not too bad. The I will have about an inch on each side. Oh, that's more uh, than I think so I've got. So that's a little start. I got my little owl done. Uh, and it's coming out really cute. But again, I'm just doing this in DMC black, so it will be a little less dynamic than the picture. But I don't mind. This is 28 count Sandcastle. Uh, by Picture This Plus that I 
uh, we'll sometimes just go to our local store and look at what they have left. Out of, like they'll have just this left in the of the fabric, and they'll they'll sell it to me for like a dollar or whatever. And so I just grab little scraps. <laughs> and so this scrap was I thought the perfect size. Turns out I'm pretty right. Uh, I have about an inch on each side, if that. That's but gonna I'm be going cute. And I'm going to finish it. Um, as a pin cushion because I think that's adorable. <laughs> I think that's adorable. Oh, I forgot my acquisition. Gosh darn it. I have an acquisition. I'll tell no, should I tell them about it? Can you do a picture? I can do a picture. I'll do a picture. So I found this adorableness. This is um, uh, an antique pin cushion that I found at a local thrift store. Uh, actually it's probably a local it's, I think they consider it themselves an antique store. Englanders. In oh, now. Englanders is an antique it's store. It's like a, people can buy like a lot inside. And so each lot can be anything from handcrafted stuff to antiques to quilts to Like little whatever. sections of the yeah. room. So they basically are selling their floor space. And anyone, it's sort of flea markety, so anyone yeah. can rent the space to set up their stall. Yeah, exactly. Of supplies or, and whatnot. And, and it's everything it's everything and one stall is a literally like two feet by four feet it is just a row that is so tight you have to wiggle your butt in there uh but they had these antique pin cushions and it is a pin cushion with little chinese acrobats like oh. hugging the world and it's adorable i'm putting it in everything now it's never going away i'm never putting a pin in it because i'm a little afraid um i'm sure it's like supposed to hold up but it's so cute. That's so cute. And they're so, and they had a couple. They had this one with the, the world and they had um, little acrobats laying over. Uh, they like lay over a pillow and then you put pins in their backs like acupuncture. Oh no. And so it's like you're giving your little dude acupuncture, but they're, no. like, they're like the size of a quarter. They're tiny. Um, That's adorable. But I loved them and I might go back and get the rest of them <laughs> because they're so cute. Um, uh, so, and I think they're from the forties is what the tag said. Mm -hmm. So, uh, very cute. And I'm happy with that. So I need, obviously if I can't use that one, I need another pin cushion. So this will be a pin cushion when mm -hmm. I'm done. So that's adorable. So that's my new start. And I've got, uh, I'll have definitely have another new start next time because now that I have these two done, I will be putting in another one, a gift for Sarah. It's the next one we're gonna do, so. Ooh. I know what one you're starting. You do? Yeah. Okay, you do. I, I went and got all the thread for them the other day. So. I know, I know. <laughs> anyway, acquisition. Acquisitions! Acquisitions, you want to use? Yeah, I have one. <laughs> <laughs> so I went to the Four Seasons and bought those three threads, and this still has the price tag on it, whatever. It is Weeks Dye Works Island Breeze. Ooh, so pretty. And it's super cute. I just went in and I was like, I need my my wedding colors are like gonna be teal and pink. So what goes or what threads do they have that fit that? And I was like, well, I want fancy threads. And I saw this, and I'm like, that's the perfect teal. This is what I want. Yep. So um, this will be either the Love and Hearts cross stitch or um, one of the. There's a couple others I talked about in our last episode that are. Kind of like just a basic design, no colors. So yeah. just one thread. Just one, what, yeah. What is that thread. called? That's got a name. I don't uh, know. I don't know. Monochrome? Thing. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. We know words. We know so words. So I just wanted one fancy thread, and that's what I found. Um, so last episode, I should have shown all three threads as acquisitions, but I left them at home. Wah, wah. Wah. We can't get our shit together. My freaking pin cushion's been up there for two weeks. <laughs> uh, Move stuff around. Oh my gosh. I made a stack on top of everything I need. Alright, so my acquisitions are two new. I had to order some stuff from uh, 123 Stitch uh, because we didn't have it available. Got a tea leaf in there. And the every time I ordered, I was just like, well, I want this pattern, so I'll just add that in because I'm already paying shipping for my like one strand of floss. I better put something in there <laughs> to make it worth paying all the shipping. Uh, so I have two. Uh, little acquisitions. This is Trick or Treat by The Drawn Thread. I love that. Oh, cute. Look how cute. That's cute. 
Let me see. Uh, so this was, I put together a list of the 21 Halloweens that I was going to do, and this was on there. This is And cute. so I just grabbed it because I could not find it. Uh, I probably could have found it through Etsy, but by the time I was paying shipping already, I'm like, mm. I am not a huge fan of only working from a printed pattern. I like my pattern keeper. I want it in pattern keeper, but this was so cute. So for cross stitch, I definitely dislike printed patterns. I'm doing the Barbara Anna one, which I haven't had an update on for like five episodes from print and I hate working on that one. I hate it. And and the love one that mm -hmm. I'm doing that that it, it is it is hard for me to make sure I'm in the right place. Yes. Yes, it is difficult. And uh Pattern Keeper has a feature where you can like try and get it to line up, but that is sometimes difficult depending on the quality um, of your print and all this other stuff. So I suck at Pattern Keeper. <laughs> <laughs> Like trying to get like when when it can't import the chart, yeah. I just give up. Yeah. I I've yet to get that to work. The uh, the second one I have is uh, another. It's technically going to count for Halloween, but I will not be using it as Halloween. Uh, this is Nevermore by Leela's Studio. Ooh, and look at that! Card. Look at it. That is cool. I'm super happy with this. Um, so it is the Once Upon a Midnight Jury quote and um kind of i would yeah that's sampler that's sampler there around that crow but it has the quote and the crow and this little graveyard and uh this will 100 percent be out just all the time because uh we are huge poe fans um and crow fans and everything so crows it's going out and i will just crows. we're feeding our crows i just bought um your neighbors probably hate you. I just bought new tea because I also love tea. And it is Simpson and Vale does a, lit a literary collection of tea blends. And Poe, of course, has one Ooh. that is like several black teas and um, it brews blood red. That's <laughs> so cool. I'll just sip my blood red tea while I wear my new, I have, uh, I bought some earrings. I should have worn them that are guillotines. Ooh. Uh, and they have little red gems dripping off them. So I'll drink my blood red tea while I wear my guillotine earrings and read Poe. And it'll be very, it'll be very perfect. <laughs> very <laughs> theme. <laughs> so very much on theme. It will be perfect for this household. So, <laughs> <laughs> so those are my acquisitions. They were just fun little patterns I found. I'm really excited to put them. They're not, uh, they will be hopefully done this year but they're not immediately coming up for yeah me. so i'll right. be working on more wedding stuff yeah, in the yeah. future. we both have a theme we both have a theme <laughs> wedding for days that's everything i have so. everything i have all so. right guys well we'll be back in two weeks with more updates and hopefully more finishes and fun stuff and oh, please comment down below tell us what you're working on what you know what you have coming up uh, if you've injured your hands as much as Devin has. Um, <laughs> Who again, else out there loves camping? Come on. <laughs> we're also, like I said, we're on a drive to 50 subscribers. So if you could like and share and subscribe, we'll be doing a giveaway. And we'll talk about what that's going to be next time. So we'll see you guys in two weeks. Bye, Bye guys. guys. That was good. That was good. You know, it wasn't good.